and they're off. Coming to the first of the 19 fences with Dunkirk the leader, Arctic Ocean, Arkel on the inside and Dormant. Dunkirk the leader at the first, over from Arkel jumps at second, Arctic Ocean and Dormant. This is an open ditch, first of the four open ditches with Dunkirk well clear and clears it beautifully from Arkel and Dormant, Dormant on the outside of Arkel, Arctic Ocean fourth and last. Dunkirk well clear over that one, a good 15 lengths clear at this point from Arkel on the inside of Dormant and then Arctic Ocean. And Dunkirk, the champion two-miler, a long, long way clear. We're looking at the second group with Dormant just heading Arkel and then Arctic Ocean. The leader a long, long way clear. A good 25 to 30 lengths clear. Now Dunkirk with Arkel now in second place, then Dormant and Arctic Ocean. Dunkirk almost a fence in front. Arkel taking this fence now, then Dorman taking it, and then Arctic Ocean. And Dunkirk over that one. Slipped a little bit on landing, but recovered beautifully. He's almost a fence clear. Arkel coming up to the next one. Dorman just behind him jumps it third, and then Arctic Ocean fourth. And Dunkirk coming to the next. Jumps it smoothly. Gets away from it very swiftly indeed. He's a long, long way clear. Arkel just coming up to jump it now, jumps it, clears it beautifully, Dorman clears it beautifully third, Arctic Ocean clears it fourth, and now Dunkirk coming up to the home stretch for the first time with Arkel just jumping the last on the far side and taking no chances with that one, Arkel jumping really high, getting away from it fast and skillfully, and here is the leader now, Dunkirk, coming into the straight for the first term, a good 30 lengths clear of Arkel. Let's stay here and see Dunkirk and then see Arkel round this turn. Here is Dunkirk coming up to the first in the straight, and Arkel just rounding the turn now, being chased by Dormant. Now, this is the first in the straight on the first circuit with Dunkirk a long, long way clear of Arkel. And bookmakers calling four to one Dunkirk as Arkel jumps at second, Dormant jumps at third, and Arctic Ocean hasn't got yet to it. And Arctic Ocean just jumps it, almost a fence behind Dunkirk, who jumps the next, the last one on the first circuit in front of the stands. Then comes Arkel, who's jumping very deliberately. Dorman hit that slightly, but got away with it all right. And now Dunkirk coming up to the post on the first circuit, getting a cheer from the crowd, too, for a really fine effort. Getting a real round of applause, Dunkirk, as he passes the post, the leader on the first circuit. Followed. Now let's stay here and see how far Dunkirk is behind him. Here is Dunkirk just coming to the rails, who is uh, Arkel rather, just coming to the rails to level up to follow Dunkirk to the water. Dunkirk to the water now, number 10. Dunkirk over the water, followed by Arkel, third, Dormant, and then a long way behind Arctic Ocean, who can't possibly stay with these crack chasers. Dunkirk, well clear, coming to the next. Now Arkel. And then Dormant. This is an open ditch. Dunkirk. Clear of Arkel. And now coming up to the next on the far side, Dunkirk. His lead having been reduced, but he's still well clear. Dunkirk over from Arkel, and there must be still ten lengths in it. Arkel, ten lengths to make up on Dunkirk as they come to the mile post on the flat race course. Just a mile to run now in the three miles King George VI chase with Dunkirk being chased now more deliberately by Arkel. Arkel definitely getting closer to him now. And it's Dunkirk from Arkel and the crowd already cheering and shouting for the champion now as he gets nearer and nearer to this gallant horse who's made all the running so far. Dunkirk by only three lengths at that one and Arkel closing on him. And they're coming to the next, and Pat Taft going right up on the outside, on the far side of Dunkirk. They're going to take this one together with Dunkirk, and are going to get it. And Dunkirk is down! One jump upside the champion, and oh, that's rotten luck. One jump upside the champion, and he was on the floor, and Arkel is left on his own. The great horse with three furlongs left to run. The next fence out in the country, and he's full of running and well clear. And Arctic Ocean is just coming up to jump a fence behind him. Dormant has gone and 
so has Dunkirk. And now Arctic Ocean, the only horse left standing. No, Dormant is all right. Dormant is up. He's, a, he's over a fence behind, but he is up all right. And Arkel, a long, long way clear, absolutely unassailable lead as he turns for home with two fences left to jump in the King George the sixth chase to boost his prize winnings to £61,771 if he just strolls over these two fences. Dorman still bravely on his feet, but more than a fence behind. Arctic Ocean about two fences behind. And here is Arkel coming up to the second last fence now in the King George the sixth chase. Arkel up and over, and now coming to the last. He's been going a really good gallop chasing Dunkirk. And he must be towering now, but he certainly doesn't look it. Coming to the last. A fence clear of Dormant and great cheers from the crowd as he rises to it, clears himself, and Patta strides away on this greatest of all steeplechases. Joseph Arkell and Gutter of Westminster's Arkell striding away to yet another great triumph on his first visit to Kempton. The crowds cheering and cheering him as he passes the post, the comfortable winner of the King George VI chase. A long, long way clear, strung out like a point-to-point -point with Dormant having just jumped the last 